Hey guys, welcome to another video and yet again we are talking about Nusantara OS, this time version 4.1 based on Android 12 for the Poco X3 Pro. Now we've used this ROM in the past and on the Poco X3 Pro this is the install and preview while I'm traveling. Soon you will have ROM reviews coming up again. But in today's video we're quickly going to follow a step-by-step -step guide to install it and we will have a look at the changelog and stuff like that. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Remember, it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,800 members there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. Now, in order to flash this particular ROM, the basic requirement is you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to have TWRP installed, make sure you have more than 50% battery, make sure you've backed up all the information on your phone, remove your Google account, fingerprint, face unlock, any type of pin, password, and pattern security. And if you're coming from MIUI, make sure you've removed the MI account as well. Now, once you've done all of that, you need to reboot your device once, and after that, you are good to go. But there are two files that you will need. You will need the firmware based on 12.0.4 or 12.0.5, depending on your region. This is a Bhima, so I'm using Vayu in firmware, and you will need the ROM itself because it does come with G apps. We are not flashing anything else. Now, once you've done everything, you need to go to TWRP. So let's go to advanced and let's select recovery over here. If you are on a stock ROM, you'll have to press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO logo and then you can release the buttons. It will take you to TWRP recovery. Now, which TWRP are we using? I will probably link that up in the description, but this is the latest TWRP that I'm using over here. As you can see, I've booted into TWRP. It will take about five to 10 seconds for the touch drivers to load. And after that, go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data, internal storage and cache. Now, in case you're not connecting a pen drive and you have your files on the phone's internal storage, don't wipe internal storage, okay? You will lose all the files. So swipe to wipe. Now go to install, select storage, select the USB OTG. All right, now over here, we are looking for the firmware file first. So firmware YU MIUI 12.0.5. That is what we have selected, add more zips. And now we are looking for Nusantara for YU. This is the one. Swipe to confirm flash. Now remember we are flashing two files, so it'll take about two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed. Just make sure that you don't have any errors and script succeeded. So go to the main screen, wipe, format data and type in yes. Now reboot system. Now the first boot will take about 45 seconds to a minute at the most because the Poco X3 Pro on custom ROMs doesn't really take a long time. And uh, just about any time, there you go. That's the Nusantara boot logo or boot animation, whatever you want to call it. It's nice, red and black. We can disconnect the OTG now, it's not needed anymore. We will skip to the home screen and I will show you what all is included and how does the ROM feel before we actually go ahead and do a complete review of Nusantara in the next week. All right, so as you can see, just like that, we are on the home screen, although it was stuck in a boot loop and I had to go ahead and do a force reboot and that's when it went to the setup screen. So in case you're flashing this ROM and you have some issues, remember you can actually do the same thing and you should be good to go. Now you do have a beautiful Nusantara wallpaper over here, which looks nice. You do have Monet UI doing a great job. You do have the status bar and all the other things included over here. The screen recorder is present, which does allow you to record internal and external audio, show touches on screen, show stop dot long press to remove it, lower quality for smaller file size and bigger file size limit. So these options are present. To the left, of course, you have Google feed, which will be very, very smooth because just look at the amount of applications that you have on this particular ROM. It's bare bones. It is absolutely bloat free. And as you can see, it has a very, very basic camera application. So no fancy MIUI camera stuff going on here. Now, if we talk about the edit menu in the quick tiles, you will see that you do have quite a lot of customization. Now, Nusantara, since the beginning, has been a ROM that allows you to have a lot of customization. And that is most of the time a good thing. You do have your privacy access tiles over here. You have extra dim heads up, sync, reboot, AOD off, CPU info, and all these things which are present over here. You also have HBM and refresh rate. So those are good things including CABC, that is 
included in this particular ROM. HBM can be enabled. And let's see, refresh rate 60 hertz, 90 hertz, 120 hertz. So refresh rate toggle is always helpful. Now, if you go to settings over here, you will see that the settings menu on Android 12 of Nusantara looks way different than it does on the previous versions of Android. And uh, this ROM itself looks very, very different. You have the uh, dedicated about phone menu over here in which if you go to Android 12, you will see that you have the version January security patch. It does come with ALN plus kernel. This is my first encounter with this kernel and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it performs. Now you do have a dedicated customization menu called Nusantara Wings in which you have four sub sections in which you have things like game space, a very, very elaborate game space over here. You have the themes option, which allows you to, you know, override monet. You have notification customization, miscellaneous, and then you have fingerprint preferences. You do have battery options, clock options, icon manager, quick settings, and traffic indicators. Now moving on, you do have buttons and navigations as customization options available as well. Now you did see that it does work on 120 Hertz absolutely fine. So if you actually go to system, you will have something called as gestures over here in which you have system navigation, one handed mode, prevent ringing. So very, very basic stuff and a very, very bare bones and smooth ROM. So, you know, all in all, they should have safety net passing. DRM info says Widevine L1 should be working fine. So Nusantara in this particular flavor on the Poco X3 Pro is looking to be a promising ROM. I will put it through its paces. I will use it probably for a day or two next week and give you guys a review. For now, this was a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to install this wonderful ROM on your Poco X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.